Hello, I'm Roy from the band Scout for Girls, and this is my Silverstone Classic Q and A. Uh, or you may or may not know, but I'm a massive fan of this event. After I went a couple of years ago by chance with my family, I'm not even into cars that much. Or I wasn't back then. It almost ignited something in me, uh, but. Uh, because I am really into it now. But back then I wasn't. And I just took my family, I took my kids who were very young at the time. They had an amazing time. They were, they couldn't believe their eyes when they saw these cars. And there's an incredible fun fair, which was free. But anyway, let me do this. What makes the classic a go-to event? Well, obviously, if you're into cars, you know it's a go-to event. It's one of the best events in the country. It's one of the only events where you can go into the pits at Silverstone, the home the home of motor racing uh, and see some of the best cars ever. So that's why it's a go-to event. But if, you know, obviously it, it's also got some of the best bands in the world playing, maybe, like Scout for Girls, uh, and there's fantastic family entertainment going on. There's a fun fair, which is all free, which is all part of the cost. So you can do the dodgems and the, and the, 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 the twirly things, all that stuff, it's getting there. Highlights, what are the highlights that stand out for you? Well, for me, it was standing with my kids in one of the, quite near the track. We actually, we were sitting down on one of the stands and just seeing their faces as the, as the cars went past. Because if you've never been to a racetrack, you know, my kids were quite young, you know, even now it, it takes my breath away. But seeing the, the look of awe on their faces, that was my, my favourite moment. Is there plenty for the family to do? Well, there is. As I said, there's that there's that fun fair which my kids spent most of the time on, uh, which is all included in the price. I tell you what I'm doing this year is they've got a driver's experience, a young driver's experience from 10 to 16. I just saw it on the website. I think you've got to pre-book it, but it's five pounds, and then the kids get to drive a car, which is going to blow. I haven't told my son this, but it's going to blow his mind. He's going to have the most amazing time. Uh, I think they've got they've got football coaching there as well. They've got loads of stuff. I know I'm not even talking about the. Uh, the uh, the cars, but yeah, that was, uh, what is your famous f family's favourite part of the visit? That was probably it. And I think hopefully they'll look forward to the bands afterwards, after the show. But I think if Freddie gets a chance to drive something or sit in something, uh, he'll be very excited. How would you describe the classic to a newcomer? Wow, if it's a newcomer, somebody who hasn't, who who's not who doesn't know it i would say you know the glastonbury festival is like the best music festival in the world this is the best car festival in the world but it's got music as well you know and it's at the home the home of motor racing uh you've got to check it out it's it is an incredible day and also Oh my God, like nobody's allowed to go away this year. So if, you, if you're looking for something to do, this is the most amazing event to get out and do. Right, uh, almost done. Is it just a motor racing event? No, it's not just a motor racing event. We've done this. Fun fair. There are lots of car driving things. Bands. Uh, soccer skills. I'm not really sure. I, I've only seen that. But it's, it's a funny one because I found that even if you weren't into it, it's it's addictive like i came away from the event really into old classic cars and uh that's cost me a bit of money since uh what surprised you most about the event probably uh i'd say or maybe not the, the surprise it, there's a lovely it, because i went to it thinking it was going to be very nerdy and geeky and all about the cars and it wasn't it was a very fun family festival atmosphere it was really lovely so that that was that was probably what surprised me the most and favorite cars at the classic well i love jaguars and have a little convertible jaguar which is my pride and joy and it's very old so it's on the cusp of being a classic i like to convince myself it's a classic but I'm looking forward to the E-Type convention, uh, which I think there's going to be lots of E-Types, which is it's making my mouth salivate at the moment. But in summary, that is my, uh, my classic question and answers. Uh, come along, check it out. Uh, I don't think you, you won't be disappointed, especially if you come on 
Friday night because you get to see us. <laughs>